today I'm going to show you how to remove and reinstall some trim. This trim is going to be under my countertop in my kitchen. They had to raise my countertop up so I left a decent gap. I'm going to go ahead and remove the trim and cut off some of the access caulk that's on there. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall it. Probably won't caulk, I'm just going to have the painters do that because they're going to come and do some touch-ups. So I'm going to show you how to do that just so you guys could see that process. All right, so you see this trim here. There's not really any caulk there. I'm just gonna cut a little bit of that paint that's up here. So they didn't caulk this. At the bottom here, there normally should be caulk. They didn't caulk that either when they installed it. And, but you see this gap up here? That's what we're gonna be addressing. So there's a nice big gap. You'll see some shims in there because they shimmed my countertop right there. There's a little bit of caulk here, as you can see. There isn't any caulk anywhere else. So I'm gonna clean that up. I'm gonna cut it. So we're just gonna take a sharp blade and we're gonna go down and make sure it cuts the caulk. Okay, so make sure all that caulk is cut. Uh, have a nice sharp blade when you're doing this. This blade has a little bit of rust, no big deal. And then I'm gonna clean all this up as well because you do not want this to interfere with the positioning of this trim. So after this is cut, I'm gonna pry it. So, which it looks like for the most part it's cut. Try not to scratch your cabinets. This should be good. I'll go ahead and start prying it off. So there's a few ways you could pry it off. One, you could try to stick your fingers in here and pull it off. There's not too many screw, uh, nails on this one because it's a short run. See how I pull it? So you just work all the way down the whole line. If for some reason you can't pull it, you could use a crowbar. You could use a little chisel to get in there and pry it. But by hand, it's good enough. Now that's off, really simple. The next thing to do is to scrape any access caulk that you see here. So that's the next step. So now what I'm gonna do is just take this blade. I'm gonna scrape all this here. So all this line of caulk, I'm gonna run this down the whole line. You always wanna try to clean up the caulk the best you could just cause if you do, when you put the new caulk, it'll look much better than it would if you left this excess caulk on. You can see it's coming out pretty nice. You can see it's just a straight line of caulk that came off. The next step is to make sure none of these shims are protruding in the space where the trim will be going. Pull out any nails that are in there. For instance, you got this nail here, pull that out, pull that out, this one right here. And if you see here, we got this shim that's there. Once you score it a little bit, you could go ahead and Try to use a chisel to remove it. That's good. It's fine if it's back here. It's not going to protrude. This is the only place you want it to take care of. So make sure it's nice and clean. This one in the front's not going to get in the way. I just don't like the way it looks. That's that. So the next thing is to cut the caulk off of the baseboard. So for instance, you got this caulk over here. That's just got to get cleaned up. All you do is shave it, take your blade and then just run it like this. Do the same thing on the other side and then anything on the top or the bottom. So whatever you think is going to be in the way or going to mess up the look of the caulk, make sure you do this top edge here and then also the bottom edge here. All right, so the next step is to remove those nails or on the wall. Before I do that, I'm going to show you how to remove the nails from the trim. So this piece of trim just has one nail in there. So you see this nail? Most people have the tendency to tap this side with a hammer so the nail could come back out towards the front. I would not recommend doing that. You get a better result by pulling it from the back side. So don't tap it forward so it comes out the front because then you could damage the trim. Just grab the nail from back here with the plier and just twist and you just pulled it out. Okay, when you twist, pulled out this side, it didn't do anything to the front. Now as for these other spots, then you obviously have to pull it from the front. You have no other choice. And it doesn't matter if anything gets damaged because you won't see it. So we got this one nail here. I'm gonna pull that out. We have another one here. Pull that one out. And another one right here. Pull that one out. And that's it. So the next step is to go ahead and install the trim. Use a tool of your choice. If you have a nail gun, an air nail gun, use that. If you have a battery powered one like this one or similar, use this. If you don't have any of those and you just have 
regular finished nails and you gotta use a hammer, use that. Either way it's gonna work. If you don't have nails or a hammer, but you have a screw and a drill or a screw gun, whatever you guys call it, then you could use that, but just make sure you countersink the screw so you could fill it with wood filler. So all I'm gonna do here, just put this back in the spot it should be going. I did clean up this caulk. Might be a little straggly there. You take the nail gun. And just place it now. Just make sure you guys don't have any plumbing in the area. So, for instance, some of my plumbing stuff might be here. So I'm not gonna mess with any of this. Placement of the nail really is your preference. Obviously, up here I have a big gap, so it's not gonna grab onto anything. So I have to put it in the lower section so it grabs onto the wall. You don't have to go crazy with this. I do have a electrical outlet right down here. The power's coming from the bottom because of the island. Just be careful. All right, so that's installed. So guys, this is how you install a trim. Very simple. Like I said, any areas where you have gaps that's gonna get filled with caulk, you most likely would have caulk in those areas. If, if not, that's even better for you. You cut the caulk, you pry it off, remove the nails, clean up any caulk that's on there, and then you go ahead and reinstall it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Like and subscribe.